Hi guys, have you heard about the Chime Credit Builder account yet? Then I'm going to come on here and give you a little bit of information about this and my perspective if you stay tuned. <music> guys and thanks for joining me at the financial spotlight i'm chantrell and i'm here to give you financial tips and tricks as you go on your road to know your money better and i'm here talking about the chime credit builder card now everybody has been talking about the chime account and that is the savings and the checking account with the white card and i showed you guys that in a couple of videos back about that particular account but this time I wanna give you a review about the Chime Credit Builder account. Now, the way you can get the Chime Credit Builder account is that you would apply for it through your regular Chime account. You have to have a Chime account first in order to get that. So you would go ahead and set that up and then they send you an invitation to get the Chime Credit Builder account and then you would sign up for that. Now, I signed up for it initially because I wanted to see how it would work, how fast it would work to build up my credit. And I actually like what it does. So what you can do is you can get direct deposits, you can already have um, income in your savings account or checking account, and you can transfer it over to your credit builder account. Once you transfer the in the money over to your credit builder account, you can use that account or credit builder account to make purchases. So as you make purchases throughout the month, this shows up as a credit limit or that you have a credit card. So it's kind of like, it's set up kind of like a secure card. So say you decided, oh, I want to spend $500 on that account, or you just transfer your whole paycheck over there. And then you make your payments on bills or groceries or whatever you purchase with the credit builder card. Well, if you're doing that, the whole time you are building up your credit, they report to the three credit bureaus and all three credit bureaus, so TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And what they do is when they report it, it's like it goes off of however much money you've put into that credit builder account. So say you put $2,000 into your credit builder account and you've spent it. Well, that shows up on your credit report as a $2,000 credit limit or a $2,000 of what you've been spending. Thus far, it's been working for me. I can see the change in my credit score. It has gone up. Now, granted, it hasn't gone up uh, from this credit card 100 to 200 points, but I do see a small increase, like at least 10 to 20 point increase. And actually, that's beneficial for me because what I have is the Chime account, which is basically a high yield interest savings, savings account. Like I told you before, it was a 0.5%, which is higher than most savings accounts are doing right now. And then I also have a checking account where I can um, pay bills through using the checking account that's attached to that current card. Um, I can also use it for direct deposits or to pay friends or whatever it is that I need to use it for. And then now I have this credit builder account. So it's three different accounts in your app. And it is, like I said, it is a lifesaver for me. It's wonderful. And I really like it because you can turn off the ability for anybody to charge those cards. So um, say you have something that has been coming out of your account and you don't necessarily want it to come out of your account today, or you might have seen something on your account where it doesn't, it looks kind of fishy. It looks like somebody might be using your credit card or your debit card to make payments that you didn't authorize. Well, you can turn those off and then you can, when you're ready to use your account again, um, if you don't want to make changes to your credit card and report it you know, stolen or lost or whatever, you can definitely turn it back on when you're ready to make a purchase and then go ahead and turn it off once you make that purchase. So, and you can do the same thing with the credit builder 
card. So these things are beneficial for me. And also I recently found out that you can actually go into a Walmart and CVS and then a few other like the Western Union and those type of locations and actually deposit money onto your Chime account. So if you don't necessarily get direct deposit or you don't have anything going into that account, you can definitely go into those stores and ask them to add money to your Chime credit account or your Chime card account. So I hope this information helped you. I really would love for you to share this information with your friends and family. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and click the like button down below. And we really want you to be a part of the Financial Spotlight family. So go ahead and join us and subscribe to this channel. And also make sure that if you have any topics that you would like me to cover, or if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below. I will definitely respond as soon as possible. And I will leave a link to the Chime credit account and Chime information in the description box as well so that you can go there and sign up today and be on your way to financial freedom. Thanks for joining me and have a great one. Goodbye.